Welcome to Working on Fire News. My name is Noel Molokwane. In the news this week, Dr. Bahadu tells us what it takes to become a successful entrepreneur. Working on Fire looks after human and labor rights. Khomozo Litebele goes from firefighter to biotechnician. One of the most important elements of an economy is to grow a big base of entrepreneurs. Dr. Vijay Bahadu explains how. Dr. Bahadu from the Institute for Success was approached by FFA and Working on Fire to train and coach firefighters for three years. The program called Enterprise Development has been running at the academy for over a year for firefighters interested in becoming an entrepreneur. Had it not been for our government, this program wouldn't exist. We would not be able to make the impact. 5,500? Fantastic. But when you look at the profile of an entrepreneur, not everybody then will qualify. Uh, some of them would rather be at the occupation, be at Wharf, doing 120, doing 2.4. Not everybody's made to be an entrepreneur. However, to start, one has to fill in a form, basically say, I want to be an entrepreneur, answering this question, why do you want to be an entrepreneur? Do you understand the definition of an entrepreneur, meaning taking risk? The question is, yes, sustainability and whether the firefighters will be able to sustain 100%. Let me give you an example. Sandile Ntembu is from Kozunatel Freight. He started uh, with funding approximately 30,000 rand via grant when we had the grant system operational. He's currently doing a turnover of approximately 70,000 rand per month with a 33% margin, meaning he's taking away roughly about 33,000 Rand, or one third of that. And then he's acquired a one-ton bucky, he's opened a Chisinyama, and now we researching whether we should do livestock. So sustainability is there. We're finding little businesses starting at home, uh, employing people, then opening the first store, resigning, opening the second store, and then eventually are franchising their models. And we're talking not small money, we're talking about 45 million income in two years. This is the potential for entrepreneurs. Where do they start, how they get hold of us? Uh, very good question. We try to give out uh, our numbers, we send out SMSs, we send out WhatsApps, uh, our numbers are available from all the RMs, GMs, etc. So we are available. They can contact us. Our telephone number 011 783 0792. We have a website where WOF has them on their website. Our numbers are there. So all they have to do is just speak to the Kurita, speak to management, GMs, supervisors, and they have our details. They can make contact with us. Dr. Bahadu says that if you have the right attitude and passion, your business will last forever. Human Rights Day means many things for different people. At our recent social development Light the Way training, firefighters shared their views on what Human Rights Day means for them. Human Rights Day was officially declared a public holiday in South Africa following the inauguration of former President Nelson Mandela. The Working on Fire Social Development Officers went to teams and presented a workshop themed Light the Way, Enhance Your Knowledge Regarding Your Human Rights. Greetings to you all. My name is Mulabukheng Malibukho from the Bishop Place in the Free State. I'm here to talk about human rights. The concept of human rights it is based on a belief that a human being is entitled to his or own right without discrimination. I have chosen the right that we are all born free and equal because I believe all humans are equal. No human is more equal than any other human. 
Hello everyone, my name is Eli Nozipo France from Bosch of Peace. I'm here to talk about the rights, the human rights, uh, what I understand about it. I've picked up two rights that I think I understand best. The first right that I'm going to talk about is the right to freedom from discrimination. That one, this right, I believe that everyone in this country, in South Africa, uh, has the right to not be discriminated against the race, the culture, or the, the gender. Working on fire nurtures the belief in chasing after one's dreams. Homozo Letebele has ambitions of becoming a scientist. Her first career move was to join Working on Fire, who guided her in obtaining a bursary to study biotechnics. Homozo Letebele from Kuruman joined the Working on Fire program as a firefighter at the Motibi State Base in the Northern Cape in September of 2011. It was through the lessons that she learned that enabled her to go and seek for an opportunity to apply for a bursary. And then medical technician That is all we have for you this week. Don't forget to send news that is taking place at your bases to your provincial communication officer. I am Noel Molokwane for Working on Fire News. See you next time.